energy, penetration, learning, and this is the embodiment of that learning. All right, you got that? Male and female. You inhabit male energy and female energy. So when you're thinking that you are acting too male or you're looking too male, you are absolutely being unnatural because at times you're going to feel and look and be and conduct yourselves more male than female. And then other times you're going to conduct yourself as more female than male. But the perfect, the perfect expression of these two particular energies is the blending of two. Okay? The blending of two. That's the two. Okay? The nucleus and all of these electrons that are whirling about. Now see, these get along perfectly. They get along perfectly. One does not try to be more subservient or dominant than the other. And that's how we stay alive, because they work in perfect harmony. But our entire energy, while we're alive, we are executing male and female energy, male and female energy. And each time we go across here, this little place right here, this is the abyss. If you've seen my shows before, you've seen me demonstrate this. This is where you create and collect all of these ideas of what's supposed to be. And this is all those ideas that you look around and you're trying to imitate other people. And you're supposed to have this or you're supposed to have that. This is where you collect them, right here, when you cross over this. Okay? You're crossing over it. Well, guess what? You're going to cross over it again, and you can drop those things. You can drop all of those ideas and carry on. Now, you get another opportunity to come back over. Are you going to pick up more? How do you do that? How do you pick up all of those ideas that would certainly inhabit your functionability? You've heard me say this before. Through gossip. All right, Mitzi, that one's gone. Have I already used that one over there, Tess? Gossip. Let's look at it. Seven, six, one, one, nine, seven. All right, we got a 15 as the heart of gossip. We got eight, nine, and seven. We got a 16. Let's see if that's right. 15, eight, nine, 16. All right, this one right here, gossip. The number of relationships, you're going to love this. Always remember this and never forget. If you don't wear a raincoat, you will get wet. 15 is the number of relationships. 15 is also the number of food. 15 is also the number of pure, raw sex. And 15 is the number of demise. Whew. What a pretty word. I might use that in a little while. I might not. Let's see. All right, that's the number 15. And in the tarot cards, guess what this 15 is? You want to know? The devil. Okay? The devil. And I think I've heard it said that he has lord and reign of this particular dimension. So while you're in this body, you are ruled by this particular guy or energy or it or she or they, whatever you want to um, make this devil up to be. This is the ruler of your body. And so while you're in this body, you are going to be focused on relationships, food, and pure raw sex. That's a fact. All right, gossip. So you sure do have a lot to gossip about, don't you, if it's going to cover all those things. Now, the other, that was the heart of gossip. And then this is the personality. 
is a 16. And in the tower, I mean in the tarot cards, 16 is the tower. Now the tower is responsible, I love it, I just love this, Missy. The tower is responsible for crossing this abyss and shaking from you all of those accumulated ideas and harmful words that you have spoken while you were gossiping. In other words, it's God, goddesses, it is way of shaking you from your foundation. Putting forth, what's that, a six and a seven and a thirteen. <gasps> hmm. I wonder how that happened, Mitzi. Thirteen would be demise. That would be the definition. Cause is death and transformation. But let's see what demise happens to be in this hour. Now we're still talking about bumbling. So our whole life is a matter of demise. Our whole life is a matter of dying daily. Let's see how that, how that is so. Okay? One and five. Fourteen, nineteen. I see that. But let's make sure. Five, five. That's a nineteen. And a nine. So, we have a twenty-eight. Now, nineteen happens to be a one if you reduce it. And we got a straight nine. So we got a nine and then we got a ten. Wow, this is a big word. This is a big word. Brings on a whole lot of talk. Because this 19 is the sun. And the sun is the source of our nitrogen, which I am adamant in saying that we are nitrogen craving creatures. Because we have to have nitrogen in order to live. Nitrogen is in our DNA, nitrogen is in our RNA, and nitrogen causes every single solitary system in our body to work, including the hemoglobin that flows through our bloodstream. Okay, and carrying oxygen to the various different cells. We have to have this nitrogen because when we breathe in, you know, this nitrogen-laced oxygen, we have to breathe out. We have to complete the cycle. Well, the cycle is completed through the act of innocence. Now, Paula, what do you mean by in no sense? What do I mean by that? I mean, we have no control over it. You have no control whatsoever in your breathing. In fact, if you pay attention, if you really, really pay attention, you would see that you're not doing the breathing. Your breathing is being done by you. You're not breathing. You can no more hold your breath than you can stop breathing or start breathing. So it's all done in this innocence, this act of innocence. Now the nine represents us coming down to earth, if you want to say that. It's an allegory, but let's just pretend like we're here and we're doing it. But we're hermits and we come down here this is coming out of the tarot cards too. But this hermit came down here to experience life, to know more about itself. You know, you've seen me on another show, and I can't draw the dot small enough to be whatever God is, but I'm not talking about the God that we identify with and want to create and worship and adore and try to serve him so we won't burn to death in some hellfire all of those things. I'm not talking about that kind of God. I'm talking about the energy behind it all. Behind what creates all of those thoughts for people because we don't know. We don't know. We're bumbling through this earth. So we came down here and this energy, whatever it is, that's way too big for me to make it. Way too big. It was way, 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 way smaller than that. In order to know itself had to come forth. So that was that relationship. In order to know itself, whatever that is, had to come forth into every single solitary thing there is in creation. Nothing is left out. Nothing is not God or goddess or it is. Nothing. And I'm talking about feces, I'm talking about urine, I'm talking about this pen, I'm talking about this paper, I'm talking about the floor, I'm talking about this coat, everything. 
So how in the world do we differentiate and say this is good and this is bad or this is God, this is the devil. How do we do that? When it's all, all of it, everything is whatever that energy is behind God because it created the manifestation of the God. Ever what you want to call God, God is, it is whatever. That is behind that. So it is, it is all of this. So there cannot be a dividing line and saying, um, well, it's like gossip. You talk, you, you're, you're accumulating all these, uh, these ideas when you cross this abyss while you're breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out right here. Okay, do it. Breathe in. Hold it. Now breathe out. Okay, breathe in. Hold it. Be conscious of holding it. Breathe out. You must let it go. Sometime, 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 or figuratively, somewhere, this going to get bigger. Or somewhere, this going to get bigger. You know, either your head or your body. Or maybe both. All right. So that's, did we finish that? Did we finish demise? I think we did. Okay, oh yeah. Well, of course, then when you add both of those together, this is my favorite number in the whole wide world. But anyway, when you take two and eight and put it together, you get a ten, which makes for that... Wheel of Fortune, here we are. Here we are. We are up here, buddy. We're on top. We got it all going on, buddy. Everything's going good. We got it. We're in our Mercedes. We got a bank account. We're looking good. We got it going on. <gasps> Boom! That quick. It can be gone. Every bit of it. This is called down. This is called sideways. And there's a lot of sideways. But the great thing, if you want to call it great, you do get to come back up and see this side of the operation. And there you are up there again, if you want to call it up. I don't know how you can differentiate up or down. But anyway, let's say up here again. But with these, while you're up here, please... Please don't accumulate all those high-minded ideas that you somehow are above these people. Or you are way ahead of these people. Or you need to help these people. Because it's all the same. Every bit of it's the same. That's the inhalation. You want to do the inhalation? Inhalation. Okay? So if this is the inhalation, or you want to go this way, guess what? You got to do the other part of that. You got to exhale. You got to exhale. That's the other part right here. That's the part we get in problems with. Okay, now let's see what we're going to do today. We're going to, what's, what theme are we running with? Bumbling. I forgot what the other word was, Mitzi. What was the other word? Do you remember? I don't care. I don't know what it was. Don't care what it was. Ain't gonna care what it was. Let's go on. Let's try to. What's in this one? Oh, that's in little letters. Let's just pull some of these papers. You want to? I'll do that. We've got a whole whole bunch of these papers in here we can pull. Let's see what one we want to pull. Let's just see. Let's just see. Why do we want to pull? Why do we want to pull? I'll pull this one. But look at all them hanging on the side. Ah, as they got into the boat, the wind ceased. As they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Now we're talking about bumbling.
We're talking about innocence. And we're talking about demise so far. This is what we're talking about. And this particular little paper says, as they got into the boat, woo, as they got into the boat, uh, would this be the boat? Would this be the boat? That's what I want to know. Is this the boat that you're navigating throughout these waters of earth? All right. As they got into the boat, the wind... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be exhalation, inhalation. Uh, I believe it would be. I believe that if you're in the waters... If you make a trip somewhere, you will have to return, I think. If you are on land, if you make a trip, you will have to return. All right. The wind ceased. This is Matthew. Let me put that down there for all those people who are interested in knowing. Matthew. Um... 1432. Ah. <gasps> Would that 46 be a 10? Huh? Would that be that wheel of fortune again? I think it would be. Ah. <gasps> I just think it would be. That would be a wheel of fortune right here. Uh huh. And this would be a wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Okay, now, if we straightened out that eight, it'll probably look like this. You know, and I can make a boat out of that if I wanted to. But if we straighten out that little crook right there, and if we straighten out that little crook, the wind would cease. There would be no coming and going. None. That's activity. That's movement. That comes from that first word. What was that first word? Movement. I forgot what that was. Let's go back and see what that was. Movement. Movement right there. That five of that bumbling. Learning and movement. So this would be still. This would be still. There would be no movement. The wind.